Fatima housing area. This reminds me of when I did a little driving tour of Chinen base housing back in the 80s. It was all overgrown and just abandoned and then in some cases I'd turn a corner and there was a house that was the yard was all nice and the house was painted somebody was actually living in it one of the Okinawan landowners or renters disrepair and abandonment here. This is amazing. Kind of creepy, spooky in a way. Uh, oh good. Oh now look here. This is this somebody is keeping this place up. Piece of the yard. Dressings. I don't know if anybody's living in there or not, but for some reason that place is being mowed on a regular basis. This one here, the, the door is open. I'm going to go in and take a few pictures. So, this is an old abandoned unit of a family housing in Futima. Actually, it's on on Butler, or uh, hey, look at this tree growing right into the house. This was a living room, I imagine. And that's that, a kitchen. Maybe that was a dining room. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this. Boy, they had ample cupboards. Lots of cupboard space. Old Formica tops. Stainless steel sink. Oh, look at that. It's a cell phone. If it, if it was in the jail, it would be a cell phone. And this looks like a mechanical room, storage room kind of deal. Which goes back into a little utility room. Let's see if there's hookups for a washer and dryer in here. Probably. Yeah, that might have been for, the, for a dryer or a furnace or something. And then Well, chances are this was either a bedroom or maybe the maid's quarters. I remember in the old days them having. Now that's odd, an exterior light inside. Maybe this used to be a porch or something. And that. Somebody needs to clean their bedroom here. Oh God, it smells so moldy in here. But then why shouldn't it? Look at it. Okay. And then this is likely another bedroom. Or oh, anybody with mold allergies. This is the last place they want to be. Oh, maybe that's the lighting for, yeah, there's nothing on the ceiling, so 
That was the room light. And as old as this place is, or as long as it's been abandoned, it's, it's got one of those curly fry lights in there. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So that first one that I thought was kind of weird to have an exterior light, all of them have got these porch light kind of deals. I didn't even notice these coming in, but... Wow. Pretty amazing. So this was two or three bedrooms. If that was indeed maid quarters in the back, it's a two bedroom with, with maid's quarters. Oh, I had a real bathtub. Of course, that could be new. That looks like fairly new caulking there. This probably maybe used to have a tile tub in it. Hmm. It needs a little scrubbing. Bathroom's a bathroom. So one bedroom, two bedrooms. A utility room. Or a storage room. Whatever. A kitchen. With another curly fry light. No idea how long ago these units were abandoned, but all right, kids. Well, that's it. Here, let's turn the temperature down here. I love this tree growing in the house. A lot of people have indoor plants, but this is kind of a hybrid indoor outdoor plant all right well I guess it would take a little bit of work to get this lawn in, in order and then right next door oh my god that back door is open so here's another uh, abandoned house on Futenma or it used to be Futenma it's actually on Foster now. Oh, some broken glass. Yeah, there's upstairs. Little storage area. And a bathroom, a half bath. And a very small kitchen. Oy. Broken glass on the floor. Okay, a utility room, washer and dryer, hook up out the back door. And... Unremarkable living room. Okay. Now, I'll just trust that these stairs don't cave in on me. Feels and sounds perfectly sound. Oh, a linen slash storage closet and a bedroom. Looks like that was the kind of light fixture that, instead of those outdoors ones, and then a full bath with a real bathtub. Okay, and so this is three bedrooms. Wow, plenty of closet space. This must have been the master. Yeah. 
and even for a single bedroom, pretty decent closet space in here, and a place to stash junk. I guess as I'm walking through, all I'm showing you is walls. I have to do some of this up and down stuff. That's it. Okay, and here's the bedroom. <clears throat> in a bedroom, in a bedroom. And I hope that was the wind that just closed the door, not a ghost. Ooh. Well, this door's not closed. I suppose a mosquito made all that noise. Okay. Kitchen. Ah, well, maybe there were more. Yeah. There were probably plenty of cabinets there. I guess it's not smaller than that other one. Crack. Broken glass on the floor. Well, there's no trees, but the weeds are working their way in. Okay, so that was that. And that's going into the utility room. Still wondering what door slammed. Get the hell out of here. There's another place over there that's open. But I got a feeling here that if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So let's get back in the car and go look some more.